Have you ever wondered how a simple change in vaccine administration could revolutionize the fight against HIV? Stick around as we explore groundbreaking research from MIT that could reshape our approach to HIV vaccination and potentially save millions of lives. While HIV remains one of the most significant global health challenges, infecting over a million people each year, despite advances in treatment, an effective vaccine has remained elusive, until now. Recent research from MIT has uncovered a promising new strategy that could enhance the effectiveness of HIV vaccines by utilizing a two-dose schedule. The challenge of HIV vaccination. HIV is notoriously difficult to vaccinate against due to its rapid mutation rate, which allows it to evade the immune response. Systems response. Traditional single-dose vaccines have not generated the robust neutralizing antibodies needed to combat this virus effectively. In earlier studies, Researchers found that administering multiple doses over a short period could improve antibody production, but this method was impractical for mass vaccination efforts. The two-dose breakthrough. In a recent study published in Science Immunology, MIT researchers discovered that a two-dose schedule, administered one week apart, could prime the immune response system effectively. The first dose is smaller and serves to prepare the immune response system, while the second dose is larger and elicits a stronger response. This innovative approach mimics natural exposure to pathogens, where repeated exposure leads to a more potent immune response. Key findings. Dosing strategy. The researchers experimented with various dosing regimens and found that delivering 20% of the vaccine in the first dose and 80% in the second dose achieved similar results to a seven dose regimen. Immune response. The two-dose regimen resulted in a five-fold increase in T-cell response and a remarkable 60-fold improvement in antibody response compared to single-dose administration. Mechanism of action. The first dose allows some B-cells to develop antibodies, which then bind to the second larger dose, preventing it from being broken down too quickly and ensuring it reaches lymph nodes where B-cells are activated. Implications for mass vaccination. This two-dose strategy not only enhances the immune response, response but also makes it more feasible for large-scale vaccination campaigns. With fewer doses needed, logistics becomes simpler, potentially increasing vaccine uptake globally. The recent research from MIT on a two-dose schedule for HIV vaccines presents a significant shift in terms of cost and practicality compared to traditional multi-dose regimens. Here's how they compare. Cost effectiveness. Reduced number of doses, the two-dose regimen, which consists of a smaller initial dose followed by a larger booster dose one week later, significantly reduces the number of doses required compared to traditional multi-dose regimens that may involve five to seven doses. This reduction can lead to lower overall costs associated with vaccine production, distribution, and administration. Lower healthcare costs. Fewer doses mean fewer clinic visits and less logistical complexity which can translate into lower healthcare costs for both individuals and public health systems. This is particularly beneficial in low-income countries where healthcare resources are limited. The two-dose approach could make vaccines more accessible and affordable, potentially increasing uptake in regions that are most affected by HIV. Long-term savings. By preventing new infections through effective vaccination, the two-dose regimen could lead to substantial long-term savings in HIV treatment costs. With an effective vaccine reducing the incidence of new infections, healthcare systems could redirect resources to other urgent health needs. Practicality. Simplified administration. The two-dose schedule is more practical for mass vaccination campaigns compared to multi-dose regimens. Traditional vaccines often require complex scheduling and patient compliance over extended periods, which can be challenging in areas with limited healthcare access. In contrast, a two-dose regimen is easier to manage and encourages higher compliance rates among population. Logistical advantages. The simplicity of administering just two doses makes it easier for healthcare providers to implement vaccination programs. This is crucial in rural or underserved areas where maintaining patient follow-up for multiple doses can be difficult. A streamlined approach reduces the burden on healthcare infrastructure. Potential for broader applications. The principles behind the two-dose strategy may also be applicable to other vaccines beyond HIV, further enhancing its impact on global health initiatives. The two-dose schedule for HIV vaccines offers a promising alternative to traditional multi-dose regimens by enhancing cost-effectiveness and practicality. This approach not only simplifies vaccination logistics, but also holds the potential for significant long-term savings in healthcare costs, 
while improving access to vital vaccinations in high prevalence areas. Future directions. The research team is currently testing this vaccine strategy in non-human primates and developing materials that can deliver the second dose over an extended period. This could further enhance the immune response, response and simplify vaccination protocols. The future directions for the two-dose HIV vaccine schedule developed by MIT researchers indicate exciting possibilities for both HIV prevention and broader vaccine strategies. Here are the key areas of focus moving forward. Continued research and development clinical trials. The researchers are currently conducting clinical trials for a single-dose version of the vaccine, while also planning to establish study groups that will receive the vaccine on the two-dose schedule. This will help validate the effectiveness of the two-dose regimen in humans and compare it directly with traditional multi-dose approaches. Non-human primate studies. To further understand the immune response, response elicited by this two-dose strategy, studies are being conducted in non-human primates. This research will provide critical insights into how well the two-dose regimen translates from animal models to human applications. Technological innovations. Extended release systems. Researchers are exploring specialized materials that can deliver the second dose over an extended period. This innovation could enhance the immune response, response even further and simplify vaccination logistics, making it easier to implement in mass vaccination campaigns. Single shot alternatives. There is ongoing work to develop technologies that could mimic the effects of a two-dose exposure in a single shot. If successful, this could revolutionize vaccination strategies not only for HIV, but potentially for other diseases as well, making vaccinations more accessible and efficient. Broader applications generalizing to other vaccines. The principles learned from this study may be applicable to vaccines for other infectious diseases. By understanding how to optimize immune response. Responses with fewer doses, researchers may be able to develop more effective vaccines across various pathogens, improving public health outcomes globally. The future of HIV vaccination looks promising with the development of a two-dose schedule that enhances immune response, responses while being practical for implementation. As research progresses, these innovations could lead to more effective vaccination strategies that not only combat HIV, but also address other infectious diseases, ultimately contributing to global health improvements. The findings from MIT represent a significant step forward in HIV vaccine development. By optimizing the dosing schedule, researchers are not just improving the chances of creating an effective HIV vaccine. They are also paving the way for similar strategies and vaccines for other diseases. So, what does this mean for the future of public health? As we continue to explore innovative approaches like this two-dose regimen, we move closer to overcoming some of the most challenging health crises of our time. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting research.